Hey guys, in this episode of Learn JavaScript, I'm going to be going over our classes again, but this time we are going to be working with constructors. Now, constructors are pretty much functions within a class that you can activate at a certain time. So let's say you had a class for um, potions. One potion um, heals your health, another one heals your mana when you click on it, and we want to kind of set up for the class which one will be activated. So basically we can go in here, we can create a public class, and for this tutorial we'll be naming it Potion. Now we're not going to be going over everything of how to use this exactly, but this is just a way to teach you guys um, about constructors a little bit. So we'll create a variable for name, string, and a variable for maybe um, number of potions just to make it simple just so we can um, kind of talk about this a little bit more on how to use them so we're going to be creating our constructor so we'll create a function and you can name it whatever you want we can name this um, use potion and it's created exactly how we would create a function outside of a class but in this one we'll be putting this inside of the class itself and in here we can use this by um, just activating it so if we created outside of here maybe a variable for potion or actually um, we can just name this my potions and then if we we want it to be the class itself, so whatever we named the class, we'll type it in here. So potion, and then if you want to make this an array, just put the brackets. But you'd probably want to create this code outside of this class object. Now for the class itself, you're going to want to name your script exactly what you have the class named here. So the name of your JavaScript file needs to be what this class name is because classes are created within different scripts which can be used throughout so pretty much this is a class so an int would be a class or a string these are classes and you can create your own custom ones to use throughout your game so pretty much if we um, added items to our array it would pop up with a name and number of potions which we should make an int and so what would happen is for each um, Thing in the array you add in the inspector so if I did two um, they would have little drop downs so you could enter in name number of potions for each one and this is what we're going to be using when we add these items to an inventory or a list so I'll be covering that in the future probably not in learn JavaScript tutorial uh, maybe in a later one but I'm going to be covering this in the unity 3d tutorial series in the future for creating a working um, working inventory with different items that you can add to it. But for now, I'm just going over basic constructors and how to use them. So in here, if we created this, so name. So when we're naming, going to be naming um, our potion, now you'd probably want to use an enum instead for this, but instead we are just going to stick to constructors for now. I'll cover enums in another tutorial because um, they're pretty basic, but I'll, I'll just save them for a different tutorial. So for now, if we do, we'll put some if statements in here. If name equals equals, and we'll say health potion. So if we, in the inspector, if we put the name as health potion, this will act as a health potion. So if we had added uh, this to a button and we clicked it and it was named health potion, it would activate, or if we activated this function for um, that object, it would check the name and it would see that it's a health potion and it would give our player health. So we can just do, um, I forgot if that's capitalized or not, since I'm not using, um, using a mono develop, it's not going to show up. So we could just say 
add health to player. Just to test it out, in the future you'd want to put your code accessing the player health variable in there and it would add health. So we can copy this and we can say else if this equals um, instead of health mana so add mana to player and if you wanted um, you could also do another option for our variable and we could put heal and we can make it a int or a float or whatever you want and variable um, and say add mana this is probably not how you want to set it up, but I'm just going over how to do it real quick. So here we go. And whatever you set these values at is how much the either health potion or mana potion is going to either heal your player or add mana to them. So in here, we'll actually do that. That. Do plus heal and plus. So now debug.log will print um, add blank health to player. And this is going it's going to say how much it heals for in here. So if you're actually healing your player, you'll want to use this heal variable. And we can set that up the same for the mana potion and it would heal as a mana potion. So this way um, you can just use one function for this or if you really wanted to you could um, just create a simple function for use a health potion or another function for use mana potion and just call that function instead of checking for the name but it's really up to you um, how you want to set that up but this is a basic way of using constructors uh, within a class itself but we haven't really gone over too much how to use a class, I've just shown you guys how to set one up. So hopefully I can cover that a little bit more. But people who are still wanting to learn code, hopefully this helped you out a little bit more. And you could research it some more and figure out exactly how to implement it, but I'll have more tutorials coming out soon. So stay tuned and keep watching, and yep, hopefully you guys learned something from watching this.